Hey guys, welcome back to Real Housewives Recaps. Today, we're taking a look at Cora. So I like to look at Cora to see what people are asking about. And this one, I thought we would get fashion specific in terms of Meghan Markle. And when doing my research for this video and pulling pictures of bad fashion, I found a new one I haven't seen before. Have you guys seen this? I am not discussing body shape or size or anything of that nature. I am pointing out what the heck is going on with the fit of this outfit? It is not flattering. It is not good. It does not hang right. And once again, I'm left scratching my head and not understanding. I really don't. Maybe this is right after she had a baby. I have no, I really don't know. And I don't, again, I don't care about that. It's more about the amount of money spent, the access to tailoring and people that can help you with this sort of thing. And thinking you know better than everybody else. So I just thought this was an interesting picture that I found in my research here. But uh, back to this old gym, because this one comes up in this video. So <laughs> still one of my favorites. Hello, <laughs> what's happening? <laughs> I know, I want something really tight and boat neck. I want to show my bra. I want a big yard of fabric right near my crotch. Just make it very fabric-y near there, there. Okay, thanks. Also, there are pictures like this that will never not make me laugh. And I do use ones like this in quite a lot of my videos. And there's a reason. This is me winking and nodding at you like, can you believe this? <laughs> You're seeing this too, right? <laughs> oh, God. Okay, let's get into some fashion. I'm using Joey style air quotes. <laughs> Joey from France, um, who didn't know how to use quotes. I'm using crazy quotes quotation marks on this. Uh, let's get into some fashion questions. Ready? Okay. Has Meghan Markle become more fashionable and better dresser since joining the British royal family? Oh, you mean for those like 72 occasions? Probably not. So Allison answers no. Her wardrobe as a member of the royal family is so atrocious that I can't help but wonder if it's intentional. Ding, ding, ding. I think it is too either by her as a way of showing her dissatisfaction with her perceived plight or by her wardrobe staff as a means to voice their unhappiness with her. I tend to think it's both. I think she likes the attention, whether good or bad. I think it is a big middle finger. We've found that a lot, like she'd be told to wear a certain color or not wear a certain color. So can you guess what she would do? Always the wrong choice. Um, but also, I do, I said the same thing, like, that just shows me she has no good girlfriends, because who would let your friend go out of the house wearing, like, a poop emoji on their head with a chocolate curl taped to the side? Nobody. Question, who is giving Meghan Markle her royal fashion advice? Answer, what royal fashion advice? Unless it was advice on how to dress tacky, she has that down to a T. What? I'm shocked. Why would you say that? Yeah, no, exactly. <laughs> I just, and that's the point I was trying to make in the, in the first question is, I just think even if there was somebody there advising her, and there probably was, um, I remember in the, God, what was, it? I've seen so many things now, was the Netflix documentary, maybe they actually showed a shot of the woman altering that stupid Kermit cape dress. Um, there were, I'm sure there were people on staff, but did she listen to him? No, I doubt it. She thought she knew best. I mean, allegedly that's what happened with her stupid wedding dresses. She made so many changes and didn't want to take anybody else's advice. So we got that piece of shit. I don't know. Ooh, I'm feisty today. Okay. Marsha says, from the looks of her many different outfits, no one is giving Meghan Markle royal fashion advice. If there actually is someone doing that for her, they should be fired. <laughs> Meghan Markle is in desperate need of a well-versed stylist who knows royal protocol and how to properly dress from business casual to formal events with special attention to details that are specific to the ev event's cause. A prime example is Her Royal Highness Catherine Duchess of Cambridge. She's always very classic and, a compl and complimentary to the country she's in, honoring that country by wearing jewelry given to Her Majesty the Queen from that country, or by wearing a special outfit 
that with the colors of the country's flag or even a dress or outfit from one of the country's designers, to name a few. She always makes a special tribute in some way with fashion and design. I think it's wonderful and very kind of her to do that. It's always a class act. Okay, I actually did a video on this subject almost about same events, how the two women dress differently. So definitely go take a look at this if you haven't already. I was thinking I want to do another one like this. It's just hard because... Where Megan only did 72 occasions. <laughs> Again, can you believe it? Still riding the coattails of victimhood off 72 occasions. Um, and some of them were like polo matches and stuff. But anyway, I was thinking I do want to do another video on this because I, I had so much fun just comparing the choices made. But going back to Catherine, who I love so dearly, big time agree with the person who had posted this response. That's what I love too, is Catherine includes very thoughtful details on things, whether it's meaningful for the country, whether it's colors of the flag, whether it's details, jewels given to the royal family from the country, whatever it is, very thoughtful. I think about where she does the Wimbledon events and she wears the little the little bow. And if you're like, Jen, what's that? It's, it's actually super cool. She's patron of All England Tennis and Croquet Club. And it's something, it's like an, a nod and honor to them. It's something that only certain members may wear. And it, it kind of points back to them and shows her pride in what she's doing. And I just love the thoughtful details like that. Plus, I think there's just more thought given to the type of fabric, the actual event, how it photographs, how it travels, how it moves that sort of thing. I just think more care seems to be given or taken or however you want to say it. She just always looks fabulous and I'm jealous. But going back to the Wimbledon thing, here you have Megan at the Wimbledon thing. And, and I'm really, I'm not trying to pick at her, but she makes it so easy. You're telling me you didn't realize your pants look like this? Really? Or that, that they do this on the ground? I, I mean... How bad did she tick off her whole staff that they're not telling her? Or did they tell her and she's just like, nope, not going to hear it. I, somebody said in the comments once and it sticks with me. It's like she's convinced herself that she's eight feet tall and she will only dress that way regardless of being five feet tall or whatever she is. <laughs> you get the idea. But I'm like, oh my God, that's brilliant. That's exactly what it seems to be. It doesn't matter what the mirror tells her. The mirror is wrong, right? It's whatever she believes. Oh boy, get ready for this one. You ready? <laughs> All right. This person asks, who does the Duchess of Sussex turn to for fashion advice? To which Sue replies, this dear soul, Meg's wanted to know how to copy her eyebrows. She, she was so impressed. She employed her as a full-time fashion advisor. Oh, oh my God. I don't know what I'm looking at, but yeah, sure. Okay. I would add to that maybe bronzer advisor, spray tan advisor. I'm not sure. All right. And then this person asks, what are Meghan Markle's worst fashion moments? Oh boy. Sit down. How long you got? <laughs> you want to talk for four hours? Because I can talk to you about that. Well, this person's made a list. Let's take a look and see if we agree. All right, the gray dress that didn't fit. The Robin Hood outfit that didn't fit. What's the Robin Hood outfit? <laughs> I, <laughs> I've never, is it the green one? I've never heard it called that. I've heard, uh, who is it? Was it, um, oh my gosh, I did this before. I couldn't remember. Was it HG Tudor or was it, um, oh my gosh, I'm so sorry. Somebody called it Kermit Goes to Church and I think it was HG Tudor, but I might have that wrong. It may have been the royal grift. Regardless, hilarious. Kermit goes to church. I, I just, I don't, I'll never understand this look. I, it, it, and even look aside and, and not fitting. How does this not bother your neck? My neck would be so red from rubbing fabric. And I just be like, I want to take this off. You know how you get home and you can't wait to take off your bra? No, just me. Okay. Um, <laughs> same thing with this dress. I don't understand it. Is this the Robin Hood look that they're talking about? I'm confused. Let me know. All right. The blue and white silky pleated skirt she wore to Wimbledon. Oh my goodness. Okay. Um, she wore it with that white shirt that was not the same color. I've talked about this one at length. Definitely go watch my fashion fails because I think all these are in there, but let me show you what I'm talking about. I'll actually throw Megan a bone here and say, 
it would be damn near impossible to look good in anything standing next to Catherine. I'm talking about myself. I would feel awkward all the time. Okay. All right. But you better believe I would, <laughs> if, if I have access to everybody that can help me with this kind of thing or avoid this kind of thing, you better believe I would listen. I don't think Megan listened. Look at how bad this is. I have talked about how bad this is before, but I am once again shocked and appalled all over. <laughs> you might think I'm being dramatic. I'm not. This is appalling. What am I looking at? This is horrendous. I'm not even, again, I'll say it here. I don't care what shape she is. I don't care what size she is. It has nothing to do with that. This is the worst looking, fitting, nonsensical outfit. Once again, I don't understand it. Why in the world would you want a black, I don't know what that is, the belt to cut you right under the boobs? Like, <laughs> I, don't, I don't understand. And the weights aren't the same weight. So what's happening? Why? Why? What am I looking at? It makes me angry. I'm angry now. <laughs> Somebody help me. <laughs> All right. Um, <laughs> let's keep going. The navy outfit she wore to Trooping the Color. Oh, baby boy, I know what you're talking about. After Archie was born, it looked like something a mafia Don's grandmother would wear <laughs> to his funeral. Let's take a look at that one. I like their, that they're saying that as if I could ever forget this. It's not just the idiotic outfit because that outfit is idiotic. It, I've said this before. It looks like she couldn't, she was afraid she'd lose her scissors, so she taped them to the side of her hat. This is the worst outfit, one of the worst outfits I've ever seen. And that's saying something because she wears terrible outfits all the time. It looks like she's a nurse and she's cold. So she put some sort of hospital, <laughs> I don't know, smock or something over <laughs> her scrubs. I don't understand this look. I don't want to understand this look. Again, I'm getting mad. And... You know what makes it worse? That smug look on her face. She thinks she is the greatest thing she's ever seen and nobody will tell her differently. Nobody. Let's keep going. This list is fun. The black dress she wore. Oh, guys, I talk about this one quite a bit too. The black dress she wore to the Lion King premiere. Oh, I have a whole cringe video on everything about that night. Um, The severe hairdo was out of proportion to the dress and just made her look matronly. Yeah, I was, uh, that's about one of the 50 things wrong with this outfit. Let's take a look. I'm telling you now, if somebody made me this outfit, I would sue. <laughs> I'm not even a litigious person, but in this case, I would sue. This is the worst. I keep saying that. It's not the worst. It's one of the worst. It's so bad. You guys, it's so bad. How do you not see, oh, oh, weird. The top of this dress is too small. My boobs are squished together to make one big boob. The mesh is pulling the the cut. The, it's not right. I swear to God, she looks uncomfortable in this dress. If you look at the way she's standing, it's like she doesn't know what to do with herself and it makes it more uncomfortable. But the original poster was talking about how the hair doesn't help either. It's too severe. I totally agree with that. It is too severe and it I think the way the dress is, and then she's, she's so weird, so weird. It's like she doesn't know how to be a human. I've said this before. It's like an alien took over and doesn't know how to be a human. So they make strange expressions like this. Can you imagine? It's like, it's like one of those 80s movies where you switch bodies with somebody, but it's like you switch bodies with your parent. And so one's older and one's very young and they don't know how to be in that body that's what we're looking at that's what's happening I can't I can't explain it otherwise all right I'm loving this list let's see here the maxi dress that was slit to the nether regions she wore on her first trip overseas oh allow me shall I I talk about that one quite a bit damn I talk a lot about her clothes I do I talk about that one a lot because it makes no sense it's not even that I hate the dress it's fine if it's you or me on a, I don't know, beach vacation or whatever, or walking around somewhere hot. I live in Florida. It makes sense here, but it makes less than no sense. Less than no sense for a royal tour or whatever the hell it's called. Let's take a look. I'm Matt. All right. 
<laughs> you guys, I cannot, I, I cannot with this. Seriously, royal duty, royal tour. This is what she wears. It is slit from, I don't know, neck to nuts. You can see everything. <laughs> I'm sorry, but you can. Woo! All right, Bree Jen, you can see everything. And what you can't see in the slit, you can see through the dress. Yep, that's a royal duty outfit. I don't know what it's called. You know what I'm saying. This is an official outfit that she wore. Can you believe this? Can you... I, what? What's happening here? Seriously, I feel like I'm having a stroke. I smell burnt toast. What is going on? What am I looking at? This is horrible. Who would think this is okay? It's not okay. It's not. I would wear this to cover up a bathing suit. So... <laughs> I, I, I'd probably still throw a towel around me. I just can't imagine. <laughs> I cannot. And then I got to thinking, what didn't make the list? I, that's hard. I have many videos on the worst fashion choices, but I'm just going on the royal time. If it's not royal, if she's not part of the royal family, I'm putting that stupid red dress, you know, the one that I always put up with the stupid straps where her boobs will pull fuller apart. That makes no sense. But if we're going from royal perspective, I'm going this one. I think this has to be the worst one. And that's a hard choice because there's so many worst ones. And I may have even picked a different worst one in my fail video. I'm not even sure. I This dress haunts me. It really does. It's not flattering. It's not ironed. It's not fitted. It's not a good color. It's not a good shape. It's horrible. <laughs> Make it stop. All right, this person asks, how have Meghan Markle's fashion choices reflected her role as a modern royal? Yikes. Answer, she is not a royal. And her fashion sense has always and will always be horrid, unflattering to her unfortunate body proportions, inevitably ill-fitting. She has a delusional notion of her taste and style that no amount of stylist's direction can correct. She's the epitome of poor taste and inappropriate selections. What? What are they talking about? She always... No, this is horrible. <laughs> Case in point, look at the screen. Yikes. All right. Then I thought we could end on this one. Uh, somebody asked, did Meghan Markle change anything about the British royal family? You ready for this? Answer, yes, she did. She demonstrated that the that Metropolitan Police needed to update their procedures and protocols on how to screen future people who may marry into the British royal family. <laughs> Not fashion, but still hilarious. Guys, that was fun. I enjoy doing videos like this. If you want to see more like this, please let me know in the comments. I love that list. I love going back through the choices because it makes no sense and it's kind of fun trying to rationalize it. Spoiler alert, you can't. <laughs> anyway, let me know your uh, your picks for the worst ones. I know it's hard. If you didn't already, go back and watch my videos on this because I've actually made videos on her worst fashion fails. But uh, as well, of course, is my messy. You know, I love making those. Guys, thank you so much for watching and for being here. I really appreciate it. If you want to further support the show, Check out the merch. We got Make It Make Sense. Recollections may vary. Or check out Patreon. Huge thank you to Linda. Thank you, Melissa. Thank you to Paige. Huge thank you to Teresa. Thank you, Mary. Thank you, Amy. Thank you, Kay. Thank you, Shauna. Thank you, Brenda. Thank you, Aaron and Frank. Thank you, Kristen. Thank you, Ann M. Thank you, Amanda. Thank you, Ann H. Thank you, Karen. Thank you, Glennis. Thank you, Karen. Thank you, Patty. Thank you, Adair Becker. Thank you to Erica. Thank you, Amber. Thank you, Annette. Thank you, Barb G. Thank you to Diana. Thank you, Allison B. Thank you, Jean. Thank you, Lori. Thank you to Pauline. Thank you to KT. Thank you, Jolene. Thank you, Stromboli. Thank you, Catherine. Thank you, Loey. Thank you, Lucy H. Thank you to Georgia. Thank you, Susie. Thank you, Nikki. Thank you, Robin's Landing. Thank you to Helen. Thank you to Mara. Thank you, Ashley C. Thank you to Molly. Thank you, Amber. Thank you, Ashley. Thank you, Amanda. Thank you, Michelle. Thank you, Sand Squid. Thank you to Rach. Thank you, Linda. Thank you, Leslie. Thank you, Dee Dee. 
Thank you, Nina. Thank you, Heather. Thank you, Tracy. Thank you, Penny. Thank you, Dombey. Thank you, Android P. Thank you to Sheena. Thank you, Aaron M. Thank you, Faye. Thank you, Judith. Thank you, Spectrum Mom. Thank you, Vanessa B. Thank you, Christy. Thank you, Michelle. Thank you, Mimi Heathcote. Thank you, Misty. Thank you, Candy. Thank you, Anita. Thank you, Leslie. Thank you to Bree. Thank you, Sandra. Thank you, Stephanie. Thank you to Elvis Rose here on YouTube. Thank you to Lori. Thank you, Tim B. Thank you, Jean. Thank you, Jennifer. Thank you, Stephanie. Thank you, Aaron. Thank you, Kathy. Thank you, Elisa. Thank you, Kathy with a C. Thank you, Allison. Thank you, Christina. Thank you, Nancy. Thank you, Marianne. Thank you to Patricia. Thank you, Lindsay. Thank you, Ridley. Thank you, Lisa. Thank you, Jill. Thank you, Tracy. Thank you, John. Thank you, Donna D. Thank you, Diana. Thank you, Chewy. Thank you, Christina. Well, I so appreciate you all. Thank you if you are on the Patreon. Thank you if you're an executive producer. And hey, if you're not, definitely check it out. We have a lot of fun over there. Guys, I hope you have the best day, and I will talk to you again soon. Can't wait to bring you another video like this. Take care. Bye-bye. Mm -hmm.